So these last tutorials I've been focusing on Bixby, particularly the Bixby button, but also the Bixby home page. Because again, a lot of people just do not want Bixby to be forced on them. They don't want that Bixby home right there. They don't want to launch Bixby whenever they press that button. So I've shown you how to get rid of the Bixby home dedicated page as well as a way to stop Bixby from opening up and displaying anything whenever you press the Bixby button. Today I wanted to show you how to remap that Bixby button and actually open up the Google Assistant instead of opening up Bixby. Now just like when disable just like the process to disable Bixby, we're going to be using the BX Actions application. So if you open that up, if this is the first time you've done it, it's gonna ask you to go through some setup steps. If you're not sure of what to do during these setup steps, go to my website, AndroidExplain.com check the tutorial on how, on how to disable the Bixby button on the Galaxy Note 9 as I walk you through that setup process. Since I've already done that, that setup process is already done. All it is is actually enabling a couple of uh, feature accesses to the BX Actions application. So once we're done and we're ready for that, we're gonna open it up, the application, and we're gonna see this screen. So we're just going to tap on the Bixby button, and we're going to do tap on the single press option. So again, just like before, I have it set to disabled, which again, as I mentioned, the flash can be annoying but it is a lot, lot better than having to have Bixby open and then have to press the home button just to get rid of it. So instead we're gonna start scrolling through here. These are all the different type of uh, things that we can remap the Bixby button to. And we want to look at the Google section and now there's three options we can do here. We can set the Bixby button to Google Now. We can set it to the Google Assistant. Or we can set it to the Google Assistant Extra. I like that because it gives you the different choices of what you want. Um, for somebody who just wants the regular Google Assistant, you can set that. Press the button and then that brings up the regular Google Assistant. However, if you want the Google Assistant Extra, which supports direct speech input and what's on my screen action, you can set it to that. It will take up a, take a whole screenshot of what's on your screen. I have not gone through this. So it will do that, and then you will find you'll be able to you do things like use Google Lens to scan what you have taken on your screen, or you can actually type something that you want to search for. There's multiple features and multiple ways to activate Google Assistant. And that's why I appreciate that the developer of BX Actions has given us the option. Again, we can even just set it to Google Now. And it will open up our Google Now page, which has been renamed to Google Discover. And that's it. That is how to open up the Google Assistant on the Galaxy Note 9 whenever we press the Bixby button thanks to the application called BX Actions.